Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at how to add a background image to a specific uh, page or post. So this background image is just basically going to come and cover the, the entry content area. So uh, here's, here's the page that we've chosen. Now there's two steps involved. We need to inspect the source code and find the post of the page ID. So we just put the mouse cursor here, uh, click on view page source, and we'll scroll down to the body class section. So you can see down here on the left hand side, we've got a page ID of 628. So this is a single page. So we grab that page ID, and we need to use this in the child theme style sheet. And uh, we'll pull the image from the images folder in the child theme style sheet. So we'll go to that now. Or we go to themes. Uh, this is the theme we're using. We go to the style sheet. And at the bottom of the style sheet, we'll just add this page ID. Now we need to find out what class is used for this entry content area. So what we can do is use a visual markup guide. This is called the Genesis Visual Markup Guide and it's a really good uh, map basically that shows you all the different classes that's used on the page. So this is the class we want here so it affects the, uh, the entry content area. So we add the entry class, so dot entry, and then we just add the, the declaration for the background image. Now we need to choose the path of the image. So the images folder, you upload your image, and um, for this example, we'll choose the desert image. So the URL will be images slash desert dot jpeg. So you've got to make sure you get the path to the image right. And that's all we need. So we'll save that at the end of the child theme style sheet. Go back, refresh, and there we have our image which is covering the content area. So you'd probably also want to change the colour of the text and also the entry title, so we'll do that as well. Okay, we'll go back to the child theme style sheet, style.css, um, colour. and we'll also change the color of the entry title so that'll be a different class um, we'll use that CSS and the class for the entry title is entry title okay so we'll save that reload the browser and there you have it. So if we go to any other page, the image is not displaying on any other pages. It's only displaying on one specific page. So uh, that's it from WPSites.net. Cheers.